Welcome back. Nakatakdang ganapin sa Marikina mula June 16 to 18 ang World Hoops Clinic kung saan ilang international coaches ang magsashare ng latest trends sa basketball. Pangunahan nito ng dating Gilis Pilipinas head coach at ngayon ay chief technician ng Atrio Blue Eagles na si Coach Tab Baldwin. And we are now joined here in the studio by Coach Tab. Coach Tab, such an honor to have you here on The Score. Good evening. Thank you, Anton. It's great to be here. And it's great to see you again. I know we met back in 2013 and it's so nice to have you here on the show. Coach, how have you been? What's, um, it's the end of the summer. Uh, what's it been for you? been a lot of hard work as yeah. always you know when you're when you're coaching uh, teams like the Blue Eagles or involvement with Gilas uh, seems the work never stops and that's a good thing you know it's always as a coach it's always good to be employed because there's a <laughs> lot of them out there that aren't and uh, aside from working as a coach you're working on something big you're working on the World Hoops Clinic it's the first Hoops Clinic, we're in. You're inviting international coaches to come and share their knowledge about the game here. Could you tell us how you started this idea of promoting this kind of basketball knowledge here in the country? Yeah, a couple of good coaching friends of mine, uh, John Flores, who's the women's coach at Ateneo, and Coach Jay Salvador, uh, they came to me with the idea of, of running a coaching clinic, and they really wanted me to, to be the foremost clinician. Mm. And uh, I've done a lot of that over the years, and uh, you know, I think the idea was to do something big, and I and I really didn't want to sort of anchor something over a you know two or three days and 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 do a lot of work that's related to that type of thing. And I think uh, you know possibly I could be a little overexposed here in the Philippines anyway. Mm -hmm. So through discussions, we you know we kind of came around to the idea that I had a lot of contacts around the world. Mm -hmm with some you know high caliber coaches and and good friends in the coaching profession and then the idea arose that you know we're, we're so dominated here in the Philippines by the US basketball scene mm -hmm. by the NBA that possibly we could offer an alternative possibly we could we could put in front of our coaches here the European game and how the European game is really driving the intellect and the tactics of the evolution of the game of basketball over the last sort of 10 to 20 years and I think a lot of people in the Philippines aren't aware of that. So that's, that's how we're targeting the clinic. And these are the coaches that are coming in. And uh, it's going to be extremely exciting. I think it's going to be unique for the Philippine landscape. And uh, I'm just privileged to, to be working with these guys and be a part of the whole thing. And you were telling me earlier, Coach, and I was really surprised by this, that this clinic is open to the public. So it's not just select coaches or players coming here. Everybody can come here and check it out. Is that right? Well, you know, when I first came to the Philippines, everybody said to me, this is a basketball country. Mm. And in fact, they said, you know, you're not just going to be commented upon by the, the multitude of coaches who are actually coaching the game. They said, this is a country of 110 million coaches. So the fact of the matter is we're inviting all of them to the clinic. Uh, whether you're a coach or whether you, you know, you're an interested fan and, and just want to advance your knowledge or, or see something different, see something about how the game is changing and evol evolving, particularly through the influence of the European coaching mindset, then come along, enjoy the clinic and learn something. I'm sure a lot of people are very excited after you just said what you said, so could you Mention some of the names so everybody can get even more excited. Some of your friends who are coming over here to share their knowledge about the game of basketball. Sure. The first guy I'd like to talk about mm. is Coach Nacho Lascano. And, and the name will probably ring bells with some of our Gilas fans in particular because Coach Chot Reyes brought Nacho in as a Spanish consultant for the 2014 World Cup when we played in Spain. Mm. So both Nacho and I were there in a consulting role. So I got to know Nacho, and he's an outstanding coach. He's a great defensive coach. He coaches in the ACB, which is the Spanish First Division. And if you're coaching at that level in that, in that competition, uh, well, there's no question about your caliber as a coach. And Nacho is a real fine coach. 21 years professional coaching experience. He's been Euro on EuroLeague coaching staffs, really knows what he's doing. Nenad Vucinic is a, a, a veteran campaigner. Uh, Nenad and I started out, he's Serbian by birth and Serbian by development, but we started out in New Zealand together back in 1988 as mm -hmm. competitors. He was a player, I was a coach, and uh, through the years we, we butted heads a lot. <laughs> Ultimately, I became the national coach and I asked him to be my assistant. 
Wow. After I finished, he spent the next eight years taking the New Zealand team as the head coach to, to even higher levels than I ever took them. And, and I, I think I can genuinely say I have no more respect for a coach in the world than I do for Nenad. He, to me, is the ultimate coaching model. And then we're going to bring Piero Cameron in. Piero was, uh, I guess, a hero of the New Zealand basketball scene. He was captain of the 2002 team that finished second, or sorry, finished fourth in the uh, World Championships in 2002 for New Zealand. He has since gone on to become a very, very successful coach. He's in his ninth year of coaching now. Mm -hmm. He's got a couple of championships under his belt. And uh, we're bringing Piro in to kind of take a different angle. He was a 6'6", probably 300-pound center on my New Zealand mm -hmm. teams. And he played against guys like Yao Ming and Vlade wow. Divac and Dirk Nowitzki, you know, the giants of yeah. the game. And he more than held his own. In fact, he was named in the All-Star Five of the 2002 World Championships, along with Yao Ming, Dirk Nowitzki, Manu Ginobili, and Peja Stojakovic. So he was the fifth. So he was probably one of the most unheralded superstars of international basketball through the early 2000s, and, and now he's doing a great job as a coach. So I really wanted him to speak to our coaches about the role of an undersized big man, because the Philippines is full of undersized big man playing the game. And I think he has some tremendous tips to offer them. Ayan, great. So sa lahat ng mga nanunood ngayon, this is your opportunity to get to learn from all the coaches that Coach Tab Baldwin just mentioned and the background of these coaches. Just unbelievable. The experiences they have, they have experience in their life with the game. I'm sure marami kayo matututunan sa kanila. So Coach, Earlier, you were telling me two weeks ago, you went to Istanbul and you experienced a great uh, uh, show in the EuroLeague and uh, you, you really learned a lot of things. What was your biggest takeaway from your experience over there? Look, Anton, I've been to NCAA Final Fours in the States. I've been to NBA playoff games, several NBA regular season games, Final Fours and playoffs and leagues all over the world. Nothing comes close to what I saw in Istanbul. Uh, the crowds were just off the charts, unbelievable. Uh, the coaching style and the teamwork of the, of the teams was something to marvel at as a coach. You know, the American game, we watched the great plays of the, of the tremendously talented players, but I contrast that as a coach to watching these EuroLeague champion teams play as teams. And I would very much aspire to have any of the teams I've ever coached play anything like that because they blended extremely talented players into very intricate playing systems and for me it was it was like basketball as art and you know I, I, I think I will make a big effort to make every EuroLeague Final Four as long as the heart keeps ticking I think the rest of my life. Coach, the past four years, you've gotten the chance to interact with so many different kinds of Filipino players, Filipino coaches. To you, what is the most special thing that stands out with our coaches here in the Philippines? I think we, we have a great raw material in the Philippines and our players because when you, you know, it's like anything when you put a whole bunch of water or air in a balloon and you squeeze it, it all comes out mm. the top. And that's what we have in the Philippines. We have a massive pool of basketball talent but we have a very limited number of spots to play at the top level mm. in the Gilas or in the yeah. PBA so when we squeeze all of that basketball talent we only get the best but we only get the most passionate as well and I think our coaches here in the Philippines do a great job of banking on that passion and that's why we get such exciting thrilling play in the PBA and in Gilas and, and we have an exciting brand of basketball what I hope for is that we can continue to, to drive the intellectual side of the game. The passion is there. The toughness, the athleticism is there. But for me, I think we can enhance our basketball in this country by elevating the intellect of the players, by elevating the IQ of the players. And we have to start doing that by doing that with our coaches. And that's where the World Hoops Clinic comes in. Coach Tab, kindly invite everybody mm -hmm. to check out the Facebook page for everybody to learn more about the clinic and what to expect. Yeah, my, my coaching friends and I, we set up the World Hoops, Hoops Clinic Facebook page. And there you'll have all of the information about 
the clinic, about the personalities that are going to be coaching at the clinic, about the topics that we're, that we're going to cover, and all the registration information. So it's all there, the World Hoops Clinic Facebook page, and uh, go there, check it out, and uh, if you're so inclined, come join us on the 16th through the 18th of June. There we go. Well, before I let you go, Coach Tab, I'm sure everybody is wondering, there are a lot of Ateneo fans watching, they want to know, what is the latest with the Ateneo Blue Eagles? How are you guys? Of course, I have to keep all of that very <laughs> confidential at this point. No, we're working hard. Uh, uh, we just had a uh, tremendous mm -hmm. team camp in Bel Air. Mm -hmm. We took the boys into, I guess what we would term sort of a boot camp. Mm -hmm. It was tough. We didn't take a basketball with us, so we had mm -hmm. five days of of running and fighting and swimming and um, and really challenging one another and challenging our limits and then when we fail which we inevitably do we we marshal our resources together and figure out a way to succeed so we had a great great experience there we come back stronger tougher and uh, now we're moving into the uh, sort of the post-summer phase where we'll go overseas play some games and really begin the the stretch run to uh, the season coming up in September, we're excited about it. I think we're going to be a, a representative team of Ateneo values and Ateneo success, and that's what we're after. We're after the championship. What about Gilas Pilipinas, coach? What do you see up ahead for the team? Tough year. You know, really tough year. It was great to see them get off to such a strong start uh, with the first competition and winning the gold medal. <clears throat> Jones Cup coming up. It's always a challenge to go over to Taiwan in the Jones Cup and uh, SEBA after that. But the big thing starts in the FIBA qualification in November. And, and being in the same pool as China is a massive challenge, but a massive opportunity as well. Chot's doing a great job, as he always does. He puts together a tough team, motivates them extremely well. And, um, you know, it's, uh, you know I, I just love sitting back and, and watching this Gilas team perform now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I'm looking forward to a successful year. And uh, I just hope, like everybody else here in the, the Philippines, that uh, Gilas brings home the gold. Well, thank you very much, Coach Tab. We talked about a lot of things. The World Hoops Clinic, good luck with that. Everybody's looking forward to that. And thank you for sharing with us uh, a little bit about the Ateneo Blue Eagles and Gilas as well. My pleasure, Anton. Great thank to be so here much. on the score. Thank you so much, Coach Tab. Hi guys, keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates and don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.